to a presentation by Radford University on how to learn to use Google Docs. In today's tutorial, you will learn the initial navigation of Google Docs, the advantages of using Google Docs, and how to create a document, save it to a folder, and close. Let's begin. In order to get start, started using Google Documents, we first need to open an internet browser and type in www.google.com. When we are at the main Google screen, you need to sign in just like you would with your Gmail account, which you've created in previous tutorials. So I'm going to click once on the Gmail link at the top. And I'm already signed in with my Gmail, so you would just simply enter in your username and password. Now, along the top, you will notice Gmail, but the third item, the third link says Documents. If we click on that once, it's going to take us to our Google Docs section. Today, I'm going to briefly um, acquaint you with the terms along the top of the toolbar, and then I'll show you how to get started by making a simple Google document. The very first thing you'll notice on the toolbar is the new item along with a tiny little triangle beside it. If I click once on the new, you will see we have a variety of options. We can create a new document, a new presentation, a new spreadsheet, a new form, or a new folder. Document is very similar to a Word document. Presentation is very similar to a PowerPoint presentation. Spreadsheet is similar to Excel, and then you can create folders down below to store your items in. The next button is Upload. This allows you to upload any document you create. Share allows you to email items that you create as attachments, publish as web pages, and send to collaborators. Collaborators are simply people that are in your network of friends that you want to allow to uh, use the documents you create and have them work on them as well. Next is Move To. If I click beside Move To, I can move uh, any document I've created to my folders. Hide allows us to hide items and these items will only appear in folders or in hidden view. Next is Delete. In order to delete any item, just place a little check mark in the box next to it and then click Delete. Rename allows you to rename any item that you previously named and now you want to change. And more actions. In order to use more actions, click beside one of the documents you've already created. And then you have a, a variety of ways to save in multiple formats such as uh, PDF, RTF, as text, as Word. And publish means that you can publish this as a, um, as a web page. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started creating our very first Google document. I'm going to go over to the left-hand side, click Once on New, and then click Document. It's going to load a new Word document. This is very similar to a word that you're used to using. So then you can type anything you would like. Let's say advantages of Google Docs. Now, if I wanted to save this, all I've got to do is go over to the little, um, the little disk over at the far left. Click once. And it's automatically named it. Let's go back to the main page. The Docs Home, so I'm going to go over here where it says Docs Home, and click once. This takes me back to our main page that we first started on. And now you will notice that we have our new advantages of Google Docs in our list of items. I've already created one of these. Let's take a look at it. Sorry, let's take a look at the one that I've created. There we go. Here are some of the advantages of the Google Documents. It's easy sharing, just like a wiki. If you put something on your page and then you have a collaborator as well, they can easily, from any computer, pull up what you've already created, add to it, save it, and then you can look at it from another computer anywhere in the world. 
You can access your documents from any computer that has internet access. If you create a document at your home computer and then you need to look at it at work, it doesn't matter that you didn't create it on the same computer, it's automatically there for you. Another advantage is that it can be used on a PC or a Mac. And finally, a big advantage is that we can convert our documents to PDF formats. This has been a tutorial of Radford University on the initial process of using Google Documents. Thank you.